Okay, this is the third time I tried to start this one. <laughs> I started to lay out the cards and they had a sneezing fit that would not quit. Anyway, the question was, what I wanted to look into was that there are hundreds who served under George Bush that are coming together as a group to support Biden. Okay, that's just coming out uh, today. <laughs> So I wanted to see how is this, uh, you know, how is this doing for Trump? What does Trump think about this? The first card I had out was a chariot. Uh, this is not the happy a chariot of moving forward. This is the one of it's driving him crazy, okay? He is not in control of this chariot whatsoever. I mean, he is just thrashing wildly. Uh, because what we have been to there is underneath of it that they've chosen to go a new direction. They're Republicans and they are not going to support him. And uh, they're, they've come together to do this. You know, they're banding together. Um, to strike out in a new direction here, even though they're Republicans. They served under Bush. They said, we are not supporting Trump. We cannot support him. We will not support him. We are supporting Biden. Okay. So this is uh, coming out to Trump. He sees them as basically going off a cliff, <laughs> traitors, <laughs> and it's driving him crazy. Okay, one side we have the inner child. Somehow I don't think this is going to bode well for his inner child. And the other side we have sacredness. So let's see what else we have. There are some Republicans that are, you know, it's good they're not just following party lines, that they see the danger that he is. So with inner child, yeah, they're entering unfamiliar territory with this. Um, this is not hitting Trump well either. It's his inner child is hitting unfamiliar territory. What do I mean that they're the Republicans and they're they're voting against me? <laughs> uh, sacredness is blossoming. Okay, it's flowering. You know we need to. Uh, they need to look at this realistically. You know, the seeds were planted, and Trump has done all he can to destroy this nation. And, uh, you know, they're going, uh, yeah, no, we can't, uh, we can't uh, support him. Republican or not, we cannot support him. Okay. Inner child, unfamiliar territory, we have harmony. And under the sacredness blossom, we have anguish. Now, I would say this is going to be a lot of anguish for Trump. The um, Republicans are saying, if we may be fish out of water, but we're in harmony when it comes to this. This is something we have to do. And this is going to just irritate the heck out of Trump's inner child. Okay. Let's pick the last three cards and see what we have going with this. Okay, 
well under the harmony like a fish out of water um, he he just he doesn't want to see it okay um, and it could also be that uh, they're going forward you know because they can't take in anything he's saying or doing you know it's blocked we can't uh, yeah we can't go forward with what Trump is doing okay we just we can't do it when we come to this that the blossoming the sacredness that they're stepping out of it this is anguish to Trump and, uh, you know, this is just going to continue to um, gain strength. Okay. So, of course, in the center of it, he's thinking about what can he do, what can he plan to get away with to turn this around. Okay. Um, his inner child is acting out. It's like the chariot is going crazy. He's uh, just beside himself with this anguish that, you know, the, the Republican Party is sacred. How could they turn on me? They're turning on me. It's just anguish is just tearing at him. They're going to stand strong. You know, we can't take in what he's doing. Even if we are Republicans, we're going to band together, we're going to strike out, and we're, we're just definitely, we cannot, we cannot uh, support him. So his inner child, again, is, you know, screaming. I'm sure he's tearing around the White House today, screaming acting out and thinking what can we do to get away with this what can we do to to turn this around okay um <laughs> so that's what i get today on how you know the tangerine tyrant is dealing with the fact that hundreds who served under george bush are saying we cannot we will not support trump we're going for Biden.